In this short video, we take a look at the new finite mode in the V-Ray dome light. Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course V-Ray 5 Masterclass, your complete guide to V-Ray 4 3ds Max. It's a massive 15 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of V-Ray 4 3ds Max thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. I have the same scene that we used for the dome light lesson in the lighting section of the course with a few adjustments. For example, the ground plane is already a shadow catcher and the camera angle is a bit different. First, let's add a dome light to the scene. Now let's open up the material editor. And here I have already loaded an HDRI from HDRI Haven called Old Bus Depot. Now we can simply use it as the HDRI map for the dome light. Now let's run IPR and see what we get. I'm going to rotate the dome light around 28 degrees on Z. So we have a better angle. Great. Now, if you come down to the dome light options down here, you notice we have this new finite mode. Let's go ahead and enable it. And let's get out of the camera to see what we get a bit better. So when you turn this option on, the dome light is no longer infinite. It does have a physical size in the scene and it has a ground plane with the HDRI map being projected onto it and a hemispherical upper part and also a transition area between the two. To control the physical aspects of the finite mode, you have three options up here. And these three options become available when the finite mode is enabled. We have radius, projection height, and ground blend. Radius controls the radius of the finite dome light. Projection height offsets the height of the environment or HDRI map projection. And ground blend controls the transition between the ground plane and the hemispherical upper part of the finite dome. A value of zero means a sharp transition, whereas a value of one means that the dome morphs into a sphere. Point 0.2 is a good value, generally speaking. Now let's get back to the camera and adjust these values to get more accurate results. So first, let's increase the radius to around 1200 centimeters. Projection height to around 150, 200 centimeters. And here is the result. In addition to the ground projection, one of the other cool things that you get from having a physical finite dome light in the scene is that now when you move the camera, the finite dome light also reacts to the camera movement and we get some beautiful parallax for the background. If I turn off the finite mode and start zooming in and out using my camera, you notice the background dome light does not change at all. But if I enable the finite mode, not only we get this detailed ground projection, but if I zoom in and out, you notice the environment map also reacts accordingly and changes, which is very useful. So that is about the new finite mode in the v dome light. See you in the next video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.